Central Zone, Rob, with 6.45 to go in this first period, still scoreless. Yeah, we haven't had a whistle here in a, in a couple of minutes, and uh, some players got stuck out there a little bit along. Here's Kyle Platzer near side. Got a shot off the goaltender, and the rebound is stuffed in. And the Thunder take a one to nothing lead with 6.36 to go in the first period. And what looked like a real simple play, just a shot on that to the low far side pad. Well, sometimes you take those shots on that, you're not shooting the score necessarily, looking for an opportunity to create something, and that's exactly what happened. A great job by Platts. A Weidman, top of the right wing circle, skating in, dishes that towards the goal line, Walker, back to Weidman. He's out wide. Now Walker behind the net, stick handling, goes to the other side. They give it to the far circle, and a pass in front. Walker stopped, rebound in front, and was accidentally put in by Jamie Dornbosch. Dornbosch. To see how the teams were playing and what, what they were trying to do uh, defensively, offensively. So I haven't really paid attention to the matchups. Here's an opportunity. Oh, Brian's got a wide open. Kyle Platzer, and he scores! As he got that pass from his brother, but he was unable to get that across the goal line. Yeah, Dorn, it slid all the way back. Dornbosch did a good job kind of fronting him there a little bit. He had to rush it. 2-1 Thunder with the lead. Here's Zach O'Brien. Skates through a man into the zone. Far side. Toe drag. Still with it. Wide open play to Matt DePlow. And he scores his second goal of the game. What a feed by O'Brien. It's 3-1 Wichita. Well, that was uh, that was an unbelievable play by Zach O'Brien. He comes down. He just beats the, beats the defenseman <laughs> to the inside. And then just waits on the second defenseman. Kind of toe drags it around him a little bit. And Matt DeBlau is wide open at the side of the net. What a great play. That was a terrific opportunity. And certainly one will submit for plays of the week. And that goes off a stick and wide. As Awanek will head to the bench, he broke his twig. Gets one from uh, Bill Cook Sarge, as we call him. There's a shot for the far blue line, and it gets tipped in. On the way towards Cullen Delia and the Thunder. Have erupted. They've taken a 4-1 to one lead. Do we, do we give an assist to Sarge on that? Looked like an innocent shot from the net. You're right. It did. It hit, hit something on the way in. I don't know if it hit a, a Thunder player in front or if it was the one of the Indy Fuel players in front that it went off of. But Ewanok took the shot from, from the point. It looked innocent enough. Try to catch a replay of it. Oh, I think it went off a of Fuel. Hi. Bly skating down the left boards. He'll gain the Thunder blue line, moving it across the top of the circles. Gets it near side, and a shot goes through Joel Rumpel in the net. And the Fuel make it a 4-2 to two hockey game. That is Miskovic, who beat Rumpel with 5-10 to go in the second. Yeah, five holes straight in. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. It's one you, I'm sure he saves nine times. Dornbosch, rather, unable to clear it. Cam Reed, top of the left wing circle, down low. And a pass across the crease, and that was a quick shot, and they score. And I believe that was Ryan Rupert who roofed that one. One by Mark McMillan. He's got it on the near boards. Gets it over to Dyson Stevenson. Moves it across on the far side, and a soft dump there by Etienne Boutet. That won't go for icing. Five to go in this period. Indy behind their net. Two to go in the period. A long shot, and the horn will sound. And Wichita wins their home opener. It was a back and forth game. The Thunder had a 4 to 1 lead, but they claim a 4 to 3 victory here to open up 2017 2018. And